A function of two real variables assigns to each point in its domain in the plane a unique real number. We can visualize the graph of a two real variables function by considering a subset in the plane. For any point x, y in the domain, we define the point in the space x, y, z, where z is equal to f evaluated at x, y. So we obtain the graph of the two real variables function. The graph of a function of two variables is called a surface. Geometrically, we can also interpret this as a transformation from the domain to the surface in the space. For every function of two variables, there is a corresponding surface, like this paraboloid or this hemisphere, and the list goes on. But what about the reverse? Does every surface have a corresponding function of two variables? like the sphere, for example? Or what about the torus, or this surface known as the helicoid? For this particular example, let's consider a point x1, y1 on the plane. When the function is applied, we obtain two values, z1 and z2, which are different. So in fact, there is no function because this behavior does not fit the definition of function. To define a function that corresponds to the surfaces, such as the sphere, torus, or helicoid, we need to introduce the concept of parametrization of surfaces. Essentially, we need to consider a Cartesian plane with UV axis. Then the domain, again, it will be a subset of the plane. We are going to obtain a surface based on this domain. So for every point with coordinates u, v in the domain, there will correspond a point x, y, and z in the space. We can do this with a function that assigns to every u, v in the plane a point x, y, z in the space. Notice that every coordinate x, y, and z depend of the variables u and v. Geometrically, this definition comes from the idea that a surface can be formed by transforming the plane through processes such as rolling, bending, stretching, and pushing. So, for example, to create a torus, we can start with a square region of the plane, roll it into a tube, and then connect the two ends together. So now we can provide the functions or parametric equations for the sphere, torus, and helicoid. We can even explore more complicated surfaces like the famous Klein bottle, for example. We can easily plot and explore all kinds of parametric surfaces using open source mathematical software. For example, in GeoGebra, you can use the command surface. You just need to input the components and the region where U and V are defined. If you prefer, you can also use math3d.org or Desmos, where the syntax for parametric surfaces is slightly easier to type. Check the links in the description. If you like, you can explore this gallery of predefined parametric surfaces. Each surface comes with its corresponding parametric equations and the UV region where it's defined. You can also adjust the parameters to see how they affect the surface or experiment with colors to create stunning parametric surfaces. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and thank you for your support. Bye bye.